In today's forecast, we are recapping from yesterday's severe weather event as there will be more storms happening in the U.S. as the Storm Prediction Center has issued a marginal risk going on for today and more activities going on in the tropics as we go forward into today's video. And not only that, more heats are rising as there is an excessive heat warning going on in the northeastern or the northwestern side of the U.S. and in the deep south. So without further ado, let's start with today's forecast. So welcome back guys to Mr. Weather Forecast and today's in today's video, uh, yes, I know I was stuttering, but not anymore because I was just, I don't know, too tired. But still, I'm still here, so we're here with yesterday's severe weather event as we did an, a live coverage. And Anna Jose was actually was actually saying that I needed, a, that I needed a, at least 30 subscribers, but not only that, I want to give a, not only a special shout out, but a special thank you guys to subscribe to the weather officers and subscribe to the weather forecasting. Without further, let's start with today's video. So, as we, as you can see, we're in the NAM three kilometer model, and as you can see, there is not there is a lot of activity going on in the U.S. But today, since it's August 16th, it's still today. But we are going to take a look as we go forward. So we're here with the satellite imagery. As you can see, this is what happened from. I think this is like the current the current satellite imagery. But if we go forward, we have some activity going on in the in the somewhere around in the south in the southeastern of the U.S. But if we go forward, you can see that there's now activity going on in the western side in the southwestern side of the U.S. and into the into the central into the south central. And we also have an activity going on for um including for Missouri in the in the south in the southwestern side of Missouri. And if we go forward, there's a lot of activity going on. But if we go forward to today or tomorrow, you can see that there's a lot of activity going on in the deep south into the southeastern occurring tomorrow. But if we go forward, we go forward and then you can see that there's not much activity. But when we go forward, there is a, there's going to be another activity going on in the deep south and into the into the southeastern as we go forward into, until until August 18th. You can see that down here, you can see the red satellites, the satellites are showing that there is activity going on down here in the deep south. But not only that, we're going to make some reviews and see what's going on by looking at the Storm Prediction Center. So without further, let's take a look at the Storm Prediction Center. So right here with the, with the Storm Prediction Center, and as you can see, we have a marginal risk going on in the north, in the north central, south central, and the deep south. As you can see, these are three marginal risks going on marginal risk i mean to say it but still we have a marginal risk stretching from from south from the southeastern the southeastern kansas into the south into the southeastern of the sea onto the southeastern of Louisiana. Not only that, we're also going to take a look, see what's going forward. As you can see, it's stretching down here, but we also have another marginal risk going on in the southwestern, and we also have another mar marginal risk going on in the northeastern of the northeastern of Minnesota. As we will take a look at the, as we go forward, we're going to take a look what's going on. So as you can see, for the following states or counties or areas, for expected is Mobile, Al Alabama, North um, Little Rock, Ar Arkansas, Jackson, Minnesota, or I don't I can't explain, but still we're gonna read down here since it's more easier to, to find out. There is a marginal risk going on, and we have a marginal risk of severe thunderstorms across the the Oakworts, Lower Mississippi River, and the South Central of High Plains and the Northern Plains sl slash Upper Midwest. So that's what's currently going on with these uh storms. But if we go into the tornado threat, we have a 0% chance or 2% chance less of these areas for tornadoes. So are not are not concerned are the tornadoes, but the flooding as we will, as we speak as we go forward. So you can see on the wind threat, we have 5% chance as the same areas that are included the same same areas, including for Springfield, um, S Springfield, Missouri, um, Fargo, North Dakota, those are the areas that are expected with this uh, thunderstorms. Um, so we have uh, more thunderstorms activity going on, but still, for the for the hail threat is actually a five percent chance this time, including for Little Rock, Arkansas, Springfield, Missouri, Fargo, North 
North Dakota, Fort Smith, Arkansas, and Fayetteville, Arkansas. So anyone else horned down here with the 5% chance under the hail threat, it's not that it's not really that dangerous, but if the hails are starting to get bigger, you guys are need to go and take your shelters if hails are increasing their size. So not only that, if you guys hear thunder or anything else there's outside, you guys are close to be struck by lightning as they say from the National Weather Service. And we'll make sure as we go forward, we'll make sure we give you accurate information and we'll make sure we are staying live. Maybe maybe not, maybe yes, but still we're gonna be alive if if there's a tornado threat. So we're gonna take a look at the day two outlook. As you can see, we have a marginal risk going on in this in the deep south all the way to the southeastern. And as you can see, is in affected include Jacksonville, Florida, Orlando, Florida, Shreveport, Louisiana, Mobile, Alabama, and Jackson, Mississippi. So anyone else who's down there are need to take take your precautionary uh precautionary actions. So in the tornado threat is actually a two percent chance less of these areas before the wind threat is actually the same areas, just including for the deep south and to the southeastern. And in the hail threat is actually a five percent chance less of that. So, so the main threat is actually the wind threat. So if we go forward, we're gonna take a look at day three, see what's currently going on. As you see, day three is a general risk, which meaning when it's a general risk, it's actually uh thunderstorms. Not that really, um, not really that of a threat, but still, the thunderstorms are like this. Thunderstorms are acting in your area. That's meaning that there's thunderstorms, but this is not a this is not a threat for somewhere for somewhere else in the U.S. or anyone else. But still, this is the general risk. The general risk, and as you can see, the probability for this thing is a five percent chance less of these areas. So not only that, we're going to take a look at the excessive heat going on by the National Weather Service. So we're here with the National Weather Service. You can see. We have an excessive heat warning, as you can see down here, you can see right down here, you can see that there's an excessive heat warning, as you'll see down here, we're going to take a look, as you can see we have an excessive heat warning issuing for the northwestern of Washington into the southwestern of Washington, and we also have uh, another excessive heat warning going on in the eastern Washington into the northern Idaho, which is not really, but still, in Idaho, it's still just a heat advisory. We have some heat advisories, all, all including for for Washington, Oregon, and Idaho, and even including, we also have another uh, an excessive heat warning going on in South Central California, and heat advisories going on all around in the, in the south, in the north, and the southwestern of California as well. And we also have another one, an excessive heat warning going on in the Central Mississippi, and we also have an excessive or no, not excessive uh, heat advisory going on in the north in the north and the southeastern of Oklahoma and to the northwestern of Arkansas. So anyone else who are in Arkansas or to make sure you stay in your cool or stay in your shaded areas so you do not get so you don't dehydrate. But still if this uh temperatures are still rising, make sure you bring extra waters, extra bottled waters, stay in shaded areas or stay in cool like air conditioned rooms or anywhere else. Just to, just for your own safety, and we also have an excessive heat warning going on in the central Mississippi, and we also have a special marine warning in Ta Tahasi, Florida, Tallahassee, Florida. So, to make it clear, if you guys are under of these excessiveness of heat waves, you guys are need to take your precautionary. Do not, if you guys are outside, go inside, stay under a an air conditioned room, drink plenty of waters, and check on. Check on on relatives or neighbors nearby. Not only that, do not leave your pets or children unattended because that's what the most deaths occur. And just to make sure, guys, if you guys are outside, just again go inside, uh, stay in your air conditioned rooms. Do not leave your pets or children behind unattended because that's a death. That's a lot of deaths going on. And the most deaths are occurring in vehicles or anyone else who are in these areas. So as I said again, make sure you're still inside and everything. Uh, stay inside, cool areas, drink plenty of water, check on relatives or neighbors, and make sure you never leave your pets or or children unattended. So if we go forward, we're going to take a look at the at the map. We're going to see at the National Weather Service or the name three kilometer model. As you can see, we're going to take a look at the temperatures to make sure what's going on. And just to be clear, guys, we want to make sure the temperatures are rising or low or going low. So 
making sure we're going to take a look at the, at the temperatures we're going to take a look at the 2m or the two minimum uh two minimum or maximum temperature contours we're actually going to take a look at the shaded area just to make sure what's going on so you see this the current activity you can see that there is at least 94 to 83 so anyone else warned in, in the north and the southwestern that's why you have the excessive heat warnings going on in the northwestern to the southwestern because you guys are in the in the hundreds and everything else as you see there's not much there's not much um accurate attendance going on in the in the sound but we're going to take a look as we go forward because we want to make sure what's going on we're going to see what's going on. We're going to take a look at the 110 degrees. And as you see, there is not much to ask because it's limited to is 100 HPA within the requested domain. Make an accurate meaning sound, a mean sound, or whatever it is. So we're going to take a look as we go forward. You see that there's still activity going on. As you see, you can see this is going to load up, look, uh, speed up so it looks so it looks more better. So if we go forward, temperatures are rising as we go forward, and it's going to lower. So, so just to make sure, guys, uh, keep in mind, I have to make sure this loads perfectly. So this is what currently is going on. As you can see, some temperatures are rising, and some of them are going to go. As we go forward, in August 17th, we're going to go backwards. August 17th to 16th. 17th, you guys, in the northeastern, you guys are going to be in the 60s, in the southeastern, in the deep south, are going to be in the 70s, 80s, and 90s. In the south central, is going to be in the 90s, 70s, and 80s. And for the northern, and the northern central, some of you guys will be in the 70s, 60s, and including for the Great Lakes, are actually, and the Great Lakes are in the 60s, just to be sure. And the northwestern is actually going to be 70s, and for the south, for the south western side is going to be somewhere in the seventies to eighties and nineties as well. Just to make sure, guys, if you guys are outside, go inside and sit again at the beginning, and to make sure, guys, to stay cool and everything else. But if we're going to go forward to see what's going to go on further, but if we go forward, some of the temperatures are going to load down. But if we go forward at around eighteen, we're going to go eighteen. Just make sure. Come on. Okay, this is this is 18. This is 12 a.m. in the morning. As you can see, temperatures are are cooling down. They're going to be now. Now the 60s are going to turn into the 50s, including for for Philadelphia. So anyone else from Philadelphia, o Ohio, Indiana, are are now getting their cool downs, meaning the temperatures are about to cool down. They're going to be in the 60s to the 50s. Just to make sure, guys, it will be in the 50s, but still in the northwestern is going to be still uh high uh humid high hot everything else so etc so that's what they're in that's what their activity is going to go on as we go forward at, at 18 you can see the temperatures at around 8 a.m in the morning in the great lakes they're officially going to be in the 50s and the northeastern is going to be in the 50s as well as well in the mid eastern you can see it's going to be somewhere in the 60s and in the southeastern it's going to be in the 70s and the south central in the 70s and 60s and in the northern central is going to be in the 50s 60s and in the northwestern is going to be in the 60s and the southwestern is going to be somewhere in the 70s to the 80s as well because i can't i can't pronounce if this is an 80 or a or a 60 or actually yes it is an 80 so you guys are going to be under the 80s 60s 60s and 70s. If we go forward, I'm going to slow this down just to make sure. So if we go forward, as we go forward in the 18th, we're going to go at 2 p.m. in the afternoon. As you can see, you guys are going to be completely in the 70s, 60s, 80s, and and 90s as well, just to make sure. And we have a current record going on in the south, in the south, and the northeastern Texas. You can see that there is a there, there's a 10 there's a 100 100 um. Uh, that's the temperature rate of going on as you can see it all over here is going to be the entire the entire u.s will be in the 60s 70s 80s and 90s as well just just to make sure but if we go forward at around 6 or 7 p.m in the afternoon you can see in the northeastern in maine it's starting to cool down so you can see there is the 70s and the rest of here is going to be all 70s 80s and 90s if we go forward this is where it stops this is the, this is the end of the model for this is going to be valid for Friday, all those all those days that you're going to go on. But still, you guys will be in the 60s, some of you guys will be in the 70s to 80s, and some, some of you guys are going to be in the 90s to the 100s. 
So clearly, for to my um. Uh, for my confidence, I'm thinking you guys are under the excessiveness of heat. So just to make sure, guys, I have my top-rated confidence that there is going to be some excessive heats going on. Now, just to make sure, guys, if you guys are under the excessive heat warnings, go inside to a cool, shaded area, drink plenty of waters, uh, check on relatives or neighbors, never leave your children or pets behind, or unattended, as I, as I was thinking to say it, but still... It's terrible to do that, but still, you guys are need to be responsible for your for your own safety. But if you're gonna go forward, because we have not talked about the tropics, so on the tropics, you can see that there is an activity going on. So we're gonna take a look. We're gonna zoom out because I did it for the intro. As you can see, we have a twenty percent chance of a formation in five days. So around eight a.m. in the morning, Eastern Daylight Time on August sixteenth, two thousand twenty-two. Southwestern Gulf of Mexico, a tropical wave is currently located over the southwestern Caribbean Sea. It is forecast to move across the Central America during the next few days and emerge over the Bay of Champagne, or Champagne where, the, where an area is low pressure could form on Friday. Some gradual development of this system is possible while it moves southwestward over the southwestern Gulf of Mexico through the weekend. Formation chances 48 hours, low near 0%, and formation chances 5 days, low 20% chance. So just to make sure guys, this is the 5th, this the, the five, the fifth day I will look for severe for tropical activity. And as you can see down here, for the Eastern Pacific, we have a depression for Yvette, or Yvette, I can't, I can't explain what it is. I have not took a look at it because Howard disappeared from its, from its current uh, existence. As I said, I did some videos about it, but no streams were active today. So as you can see, this is the current position going on in uh, Yvette. I can't say, I can't pronounce it perfectly, just to be, sorry guys, if I cannot pronounce it good, I'm just trying my best to pronounce it. So it's located around 17.1 north and 114.6 west. So this is what the current position is going on, and the sustained winds are actually 30 knots and 35 miles per hour. So this is what's moving, it's moving 35 miles per hour to be clear. And as we go forward into the Central Pacific, there's not much activity going on, which is a good thing. But we're still gonna we're still gonna be more concerned about the threat for this one. So, gonna, so we're gonna click on this, see what see what's going on. So we're gonna take a look. Uh, let's see if we try to take a look at this. We're actually, is there is there any way I can try to put this in? Like I can try to make some discussions about it. Actually, let me see if I can go backwards. So see if I can go backwards. Hold on, guys. I need to make sure I go backwards just to make sure I don't lose track of this. I don't know who East Pacific. Okay, I think I tried to do this. Read the day two out. No. Okay, I'm just getting off track, guys. Uh, give me just one minute. I need to make sure I go back to the main page. Okay, there I go. There we go. Okay. Oh. Well, it's okay. So this is what's currently going on. As I said again, this storm is still active for some, I don't know, for some activity. But still, this system is going to have some tropical punch. And I'm not talking about the juice that you drink. The juice that this thing drinks from the uh, from all the here, from the Sah Saharan dust to here, all those areas. But still... This is what we're going to be concerned about. Not not yet, but we're still going to make some some updates for this uh, thunderstorm going on in somewhere in the um so what is it named in the Atlantic. As I said again, I will make sure to to stay tuned to make sure that there's active storms going on as we go forward. So there's not much to explain, but still there's still activity going on in the Atlantic. So guys, this will end today's forecast since I have not talked about much of this uh, forecasting today. But still, this was an actual forecast. And if you guys, if you guys like this video, make sure you hit a like and subscribe to the channel. Make sure because I got a new achievement. But I don't care about the ach achievement for now. I'm going to worry about that later because 3,000 views. Nah, well, what's the point about 3,000 views? <laughs> but still... And also, I wanted to give you guys a thank you. I want to make a special thank you. 20 
three subscribers, 20 subscribers. Thank you guys. I appreciate that for subscribing to my channel. We have 23 and it's a and it says seven plus in last days 28 days. So yeah, I did have seven plus more. So just to be clear. But still, guys, thank you so much for subscribing to my channel. That helps me a lot all the time because we need to reach people as long as possible. We need to reach a lot of people as possible. And we also have a, a good we have a new update and a good news. So how do you become a moderator? Now, possibly yes. So today, today, we are going to be making a new moderator. I want, um, so, yes, I know I'm getting hype already because, wow, wow, like, moderators are cool now. Let me put that, I'm just going to put it, but still, guys, I am so happy, guys, for subscribing to my channel, but still, and we also hit 67 viewers, that, that's awesome, but I don't like this when I see this, I don't like it. I don't like it. It's horrible. But still, guys, thank you, guys. You guys, when you subscribe to my channel, you guys are rock stars, to be honest. And I'm going to show you guys how to become an official moderator. Because one thing, number one, I have officially opened up the moderator position today. So how do you become a moderator? First of all, you subscribe to my channel. And then not only that, you have to subscribe. Well, if you want to have a shout out, all you need to do is subscribe to my channel, comment down below in one of my latest videos or my old videos because I can always see it on my on my chat. I can see it on my on my studio. So if you want to be a shout out, all you need to do is subscribe to my channel and comment down below in each of my videos. Not each of my videos, but one of my videos. And if you want to become a moderator, all you need to do is subscribe to my friend to all my weather friends channels. Subscribe to Weather Watcher for being my official subscriber. He's been my subscriber for at least for at least two days. For at least no, not two days, two years or not. Actually, one year. I think I remember that. So yeah, Weather Watcher has been my my all time subscriber for at least one year. But still, um, I want to also make some new updates. So people who subscribe and stay there at least um five years, they'll have they'll be awarded to become the. Let me see. How do you call this? It's an award, but. I can't really describe it. I'm gonna try. I'm gonna try to customize my awards for the people who stayed here. So, if you guys are, if you guys are actually, um, so if you guys subscribe to my channel for at least, and you stay there for at least five years, you will be n nominated as the how do you call this, um, weatherman pro, which meaning you're a pro master, you're master at the subscribing, but still. That's still going to be some time because I have not made those customizations to be honest. But still, if you want to become a moderator, all you need to do is subscribe to my to my channel and subscribe to this guy, this guy, this guy, this guy, this guy. Even subscribe to this guy as well. Subscribe to this guy, uh, this guy as well, which I do not know what happened to him. But still, he's still cool. He's cool to me. So subscribe to this guy, this guy, this guy, and this guy. And this and and Nate Snyder, which he which is he's my favorite YouTuber. Also subscribe to Severe Storm Hungary and subscribe to Mark Payton Vlogs. He's also a weather related guy, but still he's cool to me. Just to be honest. So if you guys want to subscribe to my channel, all you need to do is subscribe to my channel and subscribe to all my friends' channels to become a moderator. But today, guys. So how does the moderator work? I already told you guys, subscribe to my channel and subscribe to my other friends' channel. And not only that, I will make a live stream to choose who becomes the official moderator. Who becomes the moderator and who becomes... So, yeah, just to make sure, guys, uh, again, if you guys subscribe to my channel, comment down below. If you want to be a moderator, subscribe to my channel and subscribe to all my other friends' channel. And comment down below and say, I subscribe to all your friends' channel. And after that... I will pin I'll pin down your name and put you guys on my on my official board of board of moderators and I have and I'll go live and choose who becomes the moderator. But but today uh, today it's uh today we're gonna be cooling down for a while because I'm hype already. But still you guys are cool guys, you guys are rock stars. So goodbye guys and have a nice day. And hallelujah to my fellow friends.